Finally got out into camping. Well, just about to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see if we can find my little fire pit from last year and see if we can build up a little bit of a protected winter camp. It's supposed to be uh, pretty warm. It's the second weekend of December. I think the low is minus two. Just got to camp. And the only thing really showing me this camp was this little snowy fire pit. Don't go tromping around <laughs> bushwhacking when it just froze rain a few days before the, the little snowfall come. Because that was slippery. But right now I'm just going to start seeing about setting up. Make sure that it's still safe to camp where I am, and I'll figure it out from there. Got most of my stuff all set up now, kind of. And then I just dragged over a whole bunch of sticks. It's really only enough for maybe, maybe this afternoon before bed. But I got plenty of deadfall around, so I can work harder tomorrow. I just need to get fire going, make sure I have something hot to eat. She was over there guarding. Oh, you'll see a lot of that. Did you drop it into the pile of sticks? Where I brought, brought another tarp for a wind block. Woo. Keep looking, but either I put it down somewhere or I put it down at home and forgot to put it in the bed, which is very possible. I found it. <laughs> I am capable of losing everything. While I wait for my hot water to finish uh, getting hot, I had this idea. I have these emergency bags, and I'm going to try and MacGyver one around my hammock so that I stay a little warmer. I, I hate the cold so much. 
It's nothing worse than being taken. Probably is, but. Okay. So the idea is at night, if it gets a little too cold, I can run this along my ridge line. And trap in the heat a little better. That, that's my plan. <laughs> Just the biggest thing is, I don't like the material, so in general, it's not going over my head area. But if I can trap a tiny bit more heat for the night, I will be a happy camper. While the water's still cold, if you mix the ground beef up, it breaks up really easy before cooking. So then you don't get the really big lumps. There's the meat mush, and uh, we got some hot taco. Ground beef's ready for whenever I am. That was the only thing I really had to cook. And then it's starting to just start to get dark. It gets dark really fast, so kind of just comes out of nowhere. It's four o'clock right now, so 4.30. I'll need my headlamp and by five o'clock it'll be pitch black. No sun at all today. So it's just been kind of dark and dreary anyways. Alright, it's getting chilly. Actually, I don't think it's supposed to drop at all tonight. I'm just feeling the chill since I'm slowing down a bit. But we got our wraps, cheese, just some cherry tomatoes, salsa. Some nacho cheese. Oh. I need my headlamp. All right, I use this bag because I didn't bring a plate or anything. There's one. Hey, roll it. There's two. Whew. And now I'm going to eat before it gets too, too dark and clean up. It's a uh, quarter after five and it is pitch black. So I just got myself all bundled up and in my hammock. It took a long time to convince me to change into my night clothes. Just the idea of them and the cold. Ooh. But no, once I'm actually snuggled into my sleeping bag and it's all around me, and my hands have the mitts on them and everything, I'm pretty good. So, nice and cozy and comfy. There's been some coyotes already. 
So I heard my dogs go off first just because I'm on my property a little distance away and heard them go off and then coyotes started going off closer towards me. So that's just how it is. And now I get to figure out what I'm doing for the remainder of the evening. Yeah, my phone, my phone was cold enough where uh, it, I, I looked at the battery after the last time I recorded it, and it was like 35%, not a big deal. And yeah, record it for maybe eight minutes or so, maybe 10, I don't know. And uh, I just pressed stop and my phone died. So it, it's definitely feeling the cold as well. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to get bundled up and I'll see you in the morning unless I hear anything cool. Good morning. I had pretty good sleep. It was, it was nice and warm for the most part. But kept getting woke up by this one behind me. Yeah, that one. She's shy. But yeah, Sheila, yesterday was not impressed with me coming out to camp. And then I watched her slowly walk away while doing her whine. And then she'd stop after a few steps, look back. You're like, are you coming? And I didn't. So she was very upset about that. And then she uh, came back out. Probably about eight. After her supper, actually. Would have been. <laughs> and uh, uh, again, whining at me. Like, you're not supposed to be here. It's too cold. And then she tried to climb in the hammock with me. Hilarious, because she, she's been getting very, very cozy inside with colder weather. And now she's very much like, why, why would you even bother? I think uh, today is just going to be... We got coffee going, maybe, and uh, maybe slowly start packing up. Everything's a little bit wet right now. But I think, if memory's correct, it's supposed to rain my shit ton tonight. Well, the fire is slowly starting to go. Even if it's possibly going out. It's something. Now, just have to get everything slightly dry, get a bit of coals again. It's doing fine. All right, let's see if I can pick up this water without spilling it. Just a tiny bit. Gotta have some caramel creamer. Just took three hours to make it. Cause I poured the water by accident from the tin the first time. Right onto the fire. <laughs> So, all right, guys.
There we go. And I'm hoping this will act like a bit of a reflector oven. Whoa. All right. Don't burn yourself. Turnovers are close enough to being done. Definitely not as flaky as like if you make them in the oven. Worth it. All right, here's a tree I was just looking at that I got distracted by. I think it's a really old maple. But, and then the hole. I could wedge in there, possibly. Not that I'm going to, but that means this limb here is going to go down towards my camp. Not a big deal. It's far enough away, but if that comes down, I'm going to get my spouse to come out with his chains on and get me some logs. Well, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I was about to start to pack up, get heading out, but it, this overnight was supposed to be for some me time. So, before I do that, I'm going to give myself an hour and draw. And it's not that I don't get a chance to draw necessarily at home. But when I'm at home, it tends to be just doodles. And when I was younger, I used to enjoy just blaring music and spending three hours on a picture. And it's just not possible nowadays. It feels like the older I get, it feels like there's just no time anymore. So the only things I really have with me, nothing crazy. I got a couple smudgers to help with uh, smudging the pencil. I got just a regular HB2 pencil. So not even like, I didn't even bring my drawing pencils out with the different HB, well, different lead stuff. And then I got an eraser that has a nice little paintbrush on the other side to help me. I don't show my art to anyone. This is my most recent, this is my most recent picture I've been slowly working on. It's going to be my logo for, for my channel. But I got upset with it and I need to start over. Probably not. I probably don't need to start over. But that's what I got for it at the moment. We'll see how much it changes before I actually post anything onto my my logo picture.
All right. Not fantastic, but it was about half an hour. And now I'm chilly, so I'm going to start packing up. These hand warmers are still kind of warm. didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, but I'm going to try it again, the space blanket. Got some ideas for it. It just wouldn't slide under the, it wouldn't go under the underquilt when I was in the hammock. So that was my biggest problem with that. I think it would have worked great if I could have. But I also didn't want to just rip it right away. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to run out of battery, so, or space on my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to just start trekking back and get the doggo home because she's just been angry with me all day for staying out here. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.